after he gets a fastball. Yeah, I mean, he had a fastball. I don't know what it was up to, but, you know, probably the biggest thing is he settled in and, and stayed within himself and had good tempo, uh, had a good heart rate, you know, and uh, executed pitches and didn't make it about, you know, just, just throwing hard. And uh, you could say that about all the guys today. I thought they did a good job staying within themselves and trying to, you know, if it's fastball away, execute the pitch. You mentioned, you know, does with Gabe not playing today, is that more just preventative to get him rest, or do you sense he just needed that right now? Or uh, really, you know, it's uh, that's that's Brian's call, like for for today, and you'd have to talk Brian to get the details on it. And, uh, just know that he'll be ready to go. I mean, there's, he was feeling good today. After a tough couple weeks, I was at Oregon and Kentucky. How was it to see them? come out in a midweek game like this and really perform well up and down the Yeah, I mean, I, you know, there's definitely some concerns. Um, first time in a midweek, you know, you're going to get the team's best shot coming in. And I uh, thought the guys came out prepared well. thought they took, you know, good BP. thought they prepared defensively. But more than anything, guys on the mound set the tone for it. Bryce set the tone and, uh, you know, kind of pitched out of a jam there early. And, uh, starting pitchers are, you know, they're supposed to be able to do that. And the biggest thing, again, for me is just him understanding, just staying within himself and just keep pounding it in there. In terms of Ken getting that three run home run, how much did that kind of get y'all going? Yeah, that was a big swing. You know, I think Cam had a had an RBI opportunity that bat before. And, uh, a guy made a good pitch. And, you know, Cam's doing every, he's doing the best he can on every pitch. and. Um, you know, that's one thing with uh, with him, you know, he's it's pitch to pitch. I mean, if you make a mistake, he can hurt you. And, uh, and we, we need to definitely get, you know, all of them thinking that way. Just with the way Bryce was able to set the tone, as you kind of mentioned, how big was it for your team just to get, get a shutout against a team that kind of was scoring a lot and doing pretty well? For yeah, I mean, really, any time in a midweek when you go out pitch, uh, we give these guys a lot of times on Mondays, we give them a day off. You just don't know when the offense is going to come. And did think we swung the bats good early. Uh, you know, really, you start talking about Drew Baker hit a ball hard, I think, starting the game. I think Klein did too, and uh, maybe even Masters. And so um, there were some good at bats in there. I mean, it's not always the guy's getting hits that sets everything up. Sometimes it's just the guy goes and has a good at bat, sets it up for everybody else, and it all works together. It's just in terms of Frisco, I guess, what are you looking forward there? Obviously, a little fun tournament there with some really good teams. Yeah, I mean, really excited about watching these guys compete on the road. You know, you go play Nebraska game one, and then uh, I guess Mississippi State game two, and Sam Houston State. And, should be a fun weekend, should be good competition. I would think uh, Red Raider Nation will turn out really well in Briscoe. Based on my text, definitely got plenty of people asking for tickets. I don't know if I'll be able to fill those. Uh, <laughs> trying to hunt down about 25 right now. And so if anybody's got any connections down there, I'll, I'll take it. Is there anything different you look for for that first road trip of the year? They've obviously been home for the last couple of weeks. Oh, I think the biggest thing is you, you know, you go in and the biggest thing is being able to prepare once you leave here, prepare on Thursday, prepare Friday, just like they would if they were here. You know, really what you do control in, in this game is your preparation and, and then the opportunity to compete. So, you know, a lot of fun when you prepare the right way. Nebraska, have you have you actually looked at them yet to see how you guys match up with them being that first game? Really, game? really hadn't got there. I mean, followed some scores last weekend. I know they're coming off playing Oregon State, you know, which should make you sharper just in itself. I uh, do know a few of their guys, and uh, obviously Coach Erstad. I mean, we all watched him play, and you know they're going to play hard. <clears throat> you would think compete pitch to pitch as good as most, and so. Uh, looking forward to the opportunity. Obviously, it's a fun tournament in general. A lot of a lot of different competition to get a team like Mississippi State that was in similar position to you guys last year. Is that is that something the guys talk about at all, or whenever they have that type of competition, do they? Do you ever hear the guys mention that? No, I hadn't so far. I mean, really, we've just been trying to prepare here and do the best we can day to day. And uh, I'm sure you'll hear some of that as we go into the weekend and. Some of these guys, I mean, you start looking at Klein and Josh, 
Uh, they definitely played those guys and uh, played well. And so it should be fun to watch it. Julie, you know much about Dr. Pepper Ballpark and I guess what's kind of some of the yeah, unique it can, things about it. It can play really offensive. It doesn't look like the wind's going to, that's going to be the case this weekend. I saw a southeast wind on Friday, maybe northeast Saturday. Uh, really unique bullpens. The bullpens are in the stands. Uh, really unique suites. They look more like uh, barns or houses. Uh, always like they've got chat back behind. You know, they save some money building it. And there's there's chat for sidewalks instead of concrete back behind those buildings. And uh, used to take my kids down there uh, when we lived in Denison and watched the Rough Riders play and. You had to keep the mascot away those back in those days. I kid, my kids were scared of the mascot. The mascot would get close and it just, you know, it wasn't good. So, um, you know, I think they even have a lazy river now in right field. Last time I watched a ball game there, I watched JT Wise plays in Double A. It was on July 4th. It's been a while. I was in the area watching games and when I watched him play. And been to that ballpark a lot. Are you going to go to the Lazy River and all, all your all your yeah, You know, if I could get some coffee and sit back there, that'd be good. You know? <laughs> that'd be awesome during the game. What yeah. do you think about Otrembo winning or earning the co-player, co-newcomer of the week? Uh, really, uh, you know, a neat accomplishment for him. Uh, I think, you know, he, you know, all these guys got to learn to deal with what do you call it, prosperity a little bit. You know, all of them have to deal with now tech, social media. And you just look on his Twitter, he gets a lot of congratulations. And, uh, you know, at some point you got to put that device down and move on to prepare for the next game. And I think he had a little bit of that, you know, early today. I mean, he had two at-bats. We hadn't seen him give them away. And, uh, probably gave a couple away early. Well, they've scored 64 runs or whatever they scored this weekend. And Bryce came in and threw. 74 pitches and six innings and gave up zero and pitched really well today. Because for you, what, what did you see on that pitch where you obviously hit it over the left field? And I guess what, what was, I guess, your mindset going into it? Gardner told me before that a bat, he's like, they're probably going to go soft early. So I just looked for something soft and he hung a curveball and I was able to get a barrel on it. Just a little <coughs> I guess, what, what, what was kind of the, the biggest thing that kind of got you all going? What was it just Bryce and the way he started today that kind of shut them down a little bit and you guys kind of got your offense going? Oh, yeah, Bryce, he started he started the tempo and had some quick innings and then we got we were able to get some hits and score some runs and we just kept going throughout the whole game. How do you, for the first, you know, road trip of the year, is there anything different you look forward to that, just see how the team responds, how you respond just when you prepare for that? Oh, it's going to be exciting. A lot of new players, a lot of young guys, so it'll be exciting for them to get a chance to go on the road for the first time. And what are the competition, obviously, Coach is talking about, you know, a lot of a lot of good teams, obviously a college World Series team in Mississippi State. you guys look how you stack up against those teams or how do you approach that challenge? Uh, we haven't even talked about them yet. We'll t I'm sure we'll talk about them on Wednesday, Thursday before we go up there. But we just were focused on the day more importantly than anything. Still don't have my voice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what do you feel you all learned in these seven, seven games? Um, all the young guys are coming along. We start off a little slow, but I think we're getting into the swing of things. So every, all the guys are playing as a team and playing pretty well right now. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, it was uh, just felt good after that last outing. You know, I had you know, went a third of an inning, four runs. Last outing didn't go my way. Didn't fill up the zone today. You know, still I started the game off with a walk. Kind of found myself in a hole, but was able to dig out of it. You know, Brax caught a good game. Our, our. Uh, Players played defense really well, and our hitters stepped up and you know took advantage of opportunities to score. So, you know when you, you pitch a lot better when you're comfortable. So, I guess for you, with knowing how good of an offensive team this is, does that put a little bit more, uh, I guess, emphasis on you to kind of obviously kind of set the tempo? And I guess what what did you feel you did just getting out of that jam early on? I mean, just throw strikes. You know, uh, you know, the, yeah, they they hit the ball really well. They scored a lot of runs, you know, this past weekend against whoever it was they played. Um, you know, for me, it was just throwing strikes, uh, let them put the ball in play, you know, ground balls, pop flies, whatever I had to do to get out of the inning, so. 
for you, I guess, what kind of helps you? Is it establishing the fastball, or was it your breaking ball, kind of that slider that's kind of getting the defense kind of going for you? Um, I would say fastball, you know, like running balls in on guys, you know, uh, you know, just kind of moving around in the zone, you know, mixing pitches well. I mean, Gardner called a good game, and Brax called a good game, and it made it really easy. Was there anything specifically you worked on and changed from your first start today, or did you just keep practicing the same way? Uh, practice was more mentally just, you know, fit, finding a way to overcome what happened a week before and, uh, you know, just playing pitch to pitch. I mean, I feel like last last outing, you know, I found myself in a hole. This game sped up, and up on me, couldn't find a way out of it. Um, today, you know, same kind of thing happened uh, in the beginning, but was able to, you know, learn from my last outing and kind of you know find a way to get through it. When did it feel like you were rolling today? Was it in the first or when when did it feel like you were you knew you would have a good day? I would say about the third inning. That's when I kind of felt comfortable and you know uh, you know fastball command was there and uh, like I said, Brax caught a good game, so it made it really easy to you know just be comfortable on the mound and throw strikes. From your perspective, how big was that three run home run? Just in terms of just having the having the cushion, so to speak. Oh yeah, I mean, we, when Cam hit that, I kind of felt like game was over. I was like, we have a lead. Uh, you know, they the other team kind of seemed like we, they were already beaten. Uh, you know, having a having a guy like Cam, you know, changes who can change a game like that. You know, just makes it easier for pitchers and your defense to go out there and keep making plays and pitches. Obviously, the first time out, you didn't have your best start. First time out, Texas Tech came out, they didn't have their best start. How do you kind of feel this team's kind of found itself in the first seven games? Um, you know, there's been a lot of young guys step up and play, uh, veterans, you know, some of us have started off kind of slow, but we're finding it really quick and, you know, uh, you know, still early, still the preseason, we're, you know, we're still going to get a feel for things and, you know, right now we just care about, you know, scoring more runs than the other team, finding ways to win, we don't care how we do it, but as long as we get a win, that's all that matters. Anything else? Okay. Thank you.